Hello there guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, with the new anniversary pack finally releasing, uh, we have a mountain of new content and a ton of new stuff to collect. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really, really awesome build that's going to net you supers in a, under a minute, easily. Uh, you're going to have massive damage cycles. You're going to have constant buffs cycling around as well. Uh, you're going to have constant abilities. It's just amazing. So the main focus of this build is, of course, the retraced path. This is the brand new legendary trace rifle. Uh, if you keep up with my videos, I am a massive fan of trace rifles. I've made countless builds on them. Um, and I also made a ton of instant super builds with Aegis. Uh, and... If you also keep up with my videos, you know that I use Mantle Battle Harmony religiously, so of course we will be using that as well. Um, but yeah, this Trace Rifle is absolutely phenomenal, and I highly recommend you get a roll with Golden Tricorn perk. Um, this is a brand new perk where it's basically like Swashbuckler, Rampage, Adrenaline Junkie, you know, perks like that where just kills give you bonus damage. But the nice thing about this as well is grenade kills and melee kills that match your subclass. Um, oh, actually, match the damage type. So, of course, the subclass has to match anyway, because um, this is solar. You get a, you get an extra damage buff, basically, and it lasts longer. Um, I'm not sure what the damage increase is, because uh, I haven't actually tested that. Um, I just have been using it and just having fun with it, I haven't actually gone out and tested the actual increase, but I'd like to say the normal buff is like maybe 15%, 20%, and then the extra buff is 35%, kind of like a well to bubble thing. I'm not sure, if you know, put it in the comments, but uh, yeah, this perk is amazing, and we're going to be using it with the build to make the gun phenomenal. So, that's the trace rifle get this perk if you don't have this perk it's okay the build still works but this just makes everything so much better um so of course we're going to be using Thornblade, uh, in this case well of radiance because it's just the best all round for ability regen um we are going to be using triple 100 we're going to be using recov for survivability and our rifts we're going to be using discipline because we want grenades back faster to cycle this and we also have strength to get the melee back faster to cycle this so for mods, we're doubling down on basically damage, and we're going to be buffing Galahorn. We are using Galahorn with this, of course we're using Galahorn with this. Uh, it's also solar, so we have a lot of stuff to buff that to match this, and this, and this. Um, and then I have a Heritage here, because double special with Trace Rifles is phenomenal, um, and the, you never run out of ammo. So I just have Heritage here, because it's easy to shut down mages with. This isn't really a boss DPS weapon anymore, because of the nerf. But we have Galahorn, so that doesn't matter. This is just a Major Destroyer. This melts uh, Mages and Miners, respectively. And then this is our Boss Destroyer, right? So getting into the mods, we have Font of Might for a 25% damage buff for free. Pairing with that, we have Elemental Armaments, of course, which is where if you get kills with weapons that match your subclass, uh, you spawn Elemental Wells, and then you would pick up that Elemental Well, and you would get Font of Might which only works with weapons that match your subclass. Now, of course, we have double solar weapons here, and we are on solar, so that works just fine. We have Mantle Bat Harmony, of course. Every single build has this for me, um, which is when I get kills with weapons that match my subclass. We get uh, lots of super energy, and we also get a damage buff when our super is full. So even though we have Tier 1 in, which is almost 9 minutes super recharge time, with Mantle Bat Harmony alone, that cuts down the super time to about a minute, just under a minute. Uh, that's how strong Mantle Bat Harmony is. And then obviously when you get the super, you can hold it until you desperately need to use well. Or you can use it for damage, which is preferably what you're going to be using it for, for ad clear with this. Um, but that's up to you. I have Radiant Light here for stats, of course, to get 100 strength. I do recommend going for triple 100. It is very valuable with Golden Tricorn. And it's just better in general because abilities are great in PvE. Uh, I also have Taken Charge, which is going to charge me for Argent Ordnance, which is going to give Galahorn a 20% damage buff. This does not stack with Well or Empowerment Melee, but it does stack with Mantle Battle Harmony and Font of Might. So if I don't feel like using my Well, and I don't feel like using my Melee all the time, uh, which I probably will be, but the Melee isn't... It, it's not going to be up all the time, right? 
um, we have Argent Ordnance here to stack with these two, which is just amazing because that's a 20% on a 20%, 40% on another 25%, that's 65%. 65% damage buff to Galahorn is phenomenal. Uh, but obviously with Well and Empowerment Melee, that's actually a 65 increase to this as well, which is also amazing because 65% damage buff to Retrace Path with Golden Tricorn is more than what Aegis is going to pump out. Um, you don't get the freezing bonus, but you do shred, so that's really fun. Um, and that's literally the build. Everything else is just built around uh, stuff that helps other things. So we have Momentum Transfer so I can activate Radiant Light. Momentum Transfer is really good, of course. It helps ability recharge, so that's great. And I have like Finders, the Reserve, Scavs, and I have a Bomber here because we're going to be getting lots of Rifts. We want lots of Grenades, and I have a 2 slot here, so there you go. Easy. Uh, you can actually also use Special Finisher, of course, because you're going to be getting lots of Supers, and we're going to be saving them. So you could actually just use Special Finisher. Uh, to basically ensure that you do never run out of ammo, but it is not necessary, so you don't need to do that. But anyway, that's the build. I'm going to show a bit of gameplay now, really get into how it works um, in the gameplay, so I'll actually just like show everything. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed the build, hopefully you uh, like it, and let me know what you think. And also let me know what you think of the new trace rifle, if you like it or not. I'm personally in love with this thing, I don't think I'm ever going to take this off, so yeah. And it works with Galahorn. Obviously, a trace rifle that actually works with an exotic is insane. So, again, hope you enjoy, and adios. Okay, so I decided to hop into the Shack Throne just to show you how this thing works. So I have subsistence, I have golden tricorn. So you can see here, it will constantly refresh the buff as I get kills, like any damage per does, right? Same with mantle. But then if I get a grenade kill, it goes to times two. And I'm pretty sure this will no longer refresh now until I get another grenade kill, which isn't going to be possible. Um, you can see there the melee does refresh it. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to get... Actually, I think I will get that back fast enough. So technically you can cycle this out pretty well. I didn't quite get it there. But obviously I'm back at times two anyway because it's not very hard to reactivate. Um, and then when you get mantle... I mean, look at my super. I've almost had my super already. Um, and then when I get my super... I'm going to have a damage buff from that. I'm also getting damage buffs from Font of Might. And then I have been charged. I've got solar damage increase. I can fire Galahorn, which would obviously be a boss. It's just insane. It is actually insane. Very, very fun. And very potent in pretty much any activity you do. Um, obviously, there's no mages here. But if a major was here, I'd already have a uh, recombination times 10 and i just pop them in the head dead and then i'd switch to my other weapon and kill all the miners get recombination 10 again destroy the major right that's the cycle that is how the build works everything kind of just cycles on itself you have endless abilities in seconds you have infinite supers you have constant damage buffs going out it's amazing it's super fun and that's that Hopefully you enjoy, again, I've said this many times, but adios.